you tried some of the plant-based meat products? It's estimated that in the next decade, by 2030, this will be an $85 billion industry. And personally, I think it has pros and cons, so I wanted to talk to you about that. Uh, from a environmental standpoint, it's estimated that um, eating more plant-based meat, less beef, would be the equivalent of taking 12 million cars off the roads every year. So um, that's definitely significant. And then there's also the foodborne pathogens that like E. coli infections that can come from um, animal-based products that obviously are not a concern uh, when it comes to the plant-based. But then there's some other concerns. These are processed foods. And the, the two major players are the uh, Beyond Meat, which is my preferred, and then there's the Impossible Foods or the Impossible Burger. Uh, so let's look at some differences between them. Um, the Beyond Meat has about six grams of fat, which is kind of on par actually with, with a beef burger. Um, the Impossible Meat Burger has eight grams of fat, so it's, it's a bit higher than a beef burger. Um, and the biggest concern with the Impossible Foods is that they're using GMO soy, GMO wheat, maybe GMO potatoes, but definitely the soy and the wheat are GMO. So not only are you talking glyphosate, which is a known carcinogen, endocrine disruptor, meaning it's not only just setting you up for cancer, but, but a hormone imbalance to, to a very large degree, which is associated with really all the major degenerative diseases we're trying to avoid. Um, but I mean, glyphosate is a known cancer-causing chemical, and if you compare the two burgers, uh, the Impossible Burger has 11 times the amount of glyphosate as the um, as the plant-based burger from Beyond Meat. So um, huge difference there. And there's uh, the, the glyphosate found in the, um, in the Beyond Meat burger is kind of, unfortunately it's impossible to get away from all glyphosate. So it's kind of just on par with what you find in normal food, unfortunately. Um, but again, because the Impossible Burger is GMO soy and wheat, uh, it's completely laden with it, so 11 times the amount. Also, I mentioned wheat a few times, so if you're trying to avoid gluten, then the Impossible Burger uh, is not for you. So we've got that. I'm looking at my other stats here. Uh, oh, so the um, Beyond Meat is made from a pea, mung bean, and rice. So definitely better, in, much better ingredients than GMO soy and GMO wheat. So as I said, that's my preference. But you know, I think you should be mindful and I think you should consume these processed foods sparingly. I wouldn't you know, have that as part of your lunch or dinner every day. Um, but they are nice. The Beyond Meat products we've definitely tried in my household. Uh, there are burgers, there are Italian sausages, and uh, we've, we've enjoyed them. And once again, I do try to keep it sparing because it is processed. But you know, you come home late and you're tired, and, and uh, especially if you are trying to avoid meat and, and all the problems that can come along with that, uh, but you need your protein, it's a great source of protein. So um, that's my, my take on the plant-based meats. I think um, in void, avoid at all costs the Impossible Burger um, because it's, uh, that, that glyphosate is just really, very, very dangerous. So there's real, no, no difference. I'd, I'd rather you eat beef probably than that. Um, but the Beyond Meat products, um, again, seem very safe, much more balanced, and you can really enjoy them as a nice alternative. So um, my takeaway on that is uh, more real food. So the more you can eat unprocessed food, nine servings of fruits and vegetables, healthy fats, um, you know, you'll go a long, long way to restoring your health and regaining your health, hydrate, exercise, and um, then what, right? Then if you're confronted by, I don't feel well, I'm, I'm really struggling with my health, then please contact me. That's why we're here at Root Cause. We have 85% success rate in helping people restore and regain their health. We do it naturally for the most part. 
and we'd be delighted to help. So give me a call, 408-733-0400. I'll see you soon.